my friends, Chestnut Mountain Tin Man here, Friday afternoon about 4.53, leaving the gym, I'm going to take a roundabout way to the grocery store, got to stop and get a couple things. It rained while I was in the gym, and I do have to say, it's also 68 degrees. Feels like it got a little chillier after uh, the rain came. <laughs> Weather.com, when I got ready to leave, I know my wife had said it had been raining. So I look, and from like 1.30 on, it was 10% or less chance of rain. I was like, cool, don't have to don't have to take the truck can ride after all I get to the gym been at the gym about 20 minutes or so and um, I get a pop-up expect rain in about 20 minutes for the next yada yada and um, I was like really so I pull up radar and I see rain little cloud, little rain clouds coming across us. A glance outside. Oh, well, dang, it's raining. Pullupweather.com. It's now up. For the next two hours of that time, it was up above 60%. And then it dropped drastically. Like after, I don't know, 4 o'clock or so. And I'm like... Real, oh shit, look at the mud. Trying to stay in the tire path where it's been dissolved off. Damn construction. Pay attention, my lane's running out and there's a picking up truck right next to me. The, um, I was like, how'd y'all miss that? Weather.com. That looks like a rain cloud right there. It's pretty with the sun shining through it. When I was coming down 211, that was out to the north. Probably what came through and hit. Much like that, but all the way across. And I was like, shit, that looks like rain. Hey, it was. <laughs> Thank you, weather.com, for... Come on. Trying to let you over, Mr. Big O Expedition. Keep forgetting to turn down there and ride down there and see what the precinct looks like.
volume is so difficult. Seems to be on full. Probably wasn't very smart coming this way at five o'clock. Must be why we're moving like this big old truck up there poking along. Elizabeth instead of Union Circle. feels chilled again definitely doesn't feel oh like a warm like a warm 68 I had really good audio that I checked when I got home yesterday, so I'm hoping if I keep my uh, wireless mic at one click up, it should uh, should be good. I hope. Should have put the leather gloves on. Just, 
just a touch chilly with the mesh gloves. Still wet up here, or out here, up here. Oh, dropped the 65 back here. Yeah, I thought it felt uh, feel a little chillier. Feels good. Man, I'm still rather teed off with uh, finding out yesterday was it yesterday yesterday or the day before I can't remember which day it was that there's not a part that fell out where my CB antenna goes but it's gone and it can't be replaced as that's one entire unit the rear tail light of the tour pack. So we have to replace the tour pack itself, which if you were to buy a Harley, like I did the first time when I replaced it to the smoked lens, I don't know where I am. So that was $315. I might have got it like $299 through Newcastle Harley Davidson. Because that's what I remember. Custom, Custom Dynamics new. It's sprinkling right through here. They're new. Newly designed. Is $349. And I'm like, so that's $400 that some idiot walking down the street decided to jerk my antenna out. It's bad enough to think they'd unscrewed it. That's 50 bucks. 35 for the antenna, 10 for the flag. But no, they jerked the entire guts out of it. I'm gonna see how it does. I ordered one off Amazon. I went on it, all of the uh, comments. Everybody gave it good comments. Ninety dollars. So we're gonna see. I believe it's the same company that I put the side lights on smoked. But I mean, that was just mean as hell walking by and jerk somebody's shit off their vehicle shot your ass for $400. Unreal. Still sprinkling. Oh, what I was going to say about it raining on the bike was that with this um, seat cover I have, one of their things they brag about is that it lifts you up above your leather so when it rains, the rain goes under you, plus you get the vent. And I felt the, the airflow this first time in Tazewell, Virginia on our Saturday ride, standing waiting to go was hot. And I was really sweaty. So when we, we got moving, um, I felt the air on my bottom. I was like, whoa, wow, the air does move down there. Don't really notice it when you're not sweaty, but it does move. Well, I wiped my bike down before I left the gym. Of course, you can't wipe, wipe down this seat, but I don't feel the dampness. So it does work. 
just like they say. be nice that we don't have to uh, get this dang thing gone from us while I'm inside angles. Are you going to stop Toyota? Get some milk. Ah, the pretty husky. Some Denny Din Din. <laughs> 